Hello Internet, welcome back to Azel's TV, home of the dreadful lighting. This is part 25, ow, of my wooden clock build. Today I'm going to be building the front case, I'm starting to build the front case for the clock. And I've got a few things to show you down here. Let's get cracking. Now last week I had to repair the power thing down here and get a new battery and everything else. So this is a quick, very quick look at what I've done here. I mean, you saw this last week. Since then I've made a new battery holder. I've basically took, taken all the old stuff off of the base plate here because I had this little slot milled in that this cable fits in. So I didn't want to have to make all of this again from scratch. Because it's a bit problematic so I just took the stuff off. Built a new box and that holds battery like that which is nice and snug you know I don't have to have any sort of clamps or anything else it's just held in my gravity and that works so that with that out of the way let's start building the front case so let's get right down to business I've got these strips of wood as well as some plywood that's over there out of shot these thinner square section pieces go on top of the clock like that the plywood will be cut to strips and go across like that and then this goes on top and this is thicker section it's wider section so it forms a framework so I'm going to cut this into bits and then we come right back here and I'll show you how it goes together oh I can't get this in the view of the camera it's so big but I've cut these taped them in place with the blue tape and I've got this bit I've got this here so the glue from sticking everything down so this should be dry soon and I can just take all of this off and I can cut strips and glue them onto here. And the strips don't need to be very big because I know this is only sticks out a little bit above this. So put about that much, put about an inch or so and then I can put a framework on top of that. So let's cut these strips next and glue them on. That's a better view, got everything in the frame. Yes! Right, let's cut some strips, glue these on then cut and glue the frame on top of that, fantastic. Well, as if by magic, here we are. We've got the square sections of wood I had before and I've glued on these strips. That's a better angle, look at that. Even that is a little bit thicker than it needs to be, but it works. I've got to sand the sides of this down and I can glue the frame on. But, colour me embarrassed. I've got half the frame glued up, but I've run out of wood because there was a problem. Uh, I measured not one, but two parts of the wood wrong, so I've now, now run out. And it's a good quarter of an inch or so too short, so I've got this glued up. Um, I can't get any more wood now until tomorrow, so it'll be next week I can finish a frame and I can glue it on. But that should fit on nice, and I've done it so that sits over the edge like that and there's like some overhang on either side so there's some overhang on this side so it's it's a bit decorative and on this side and it'll act as a sort of a rebate to put the glass behind and I can put something there to hold it in from the back so hopefully I mean this is this is nice and square perfectly square so next part will go in there like this and that'll be square as well and across there and then that's done I can glue it onto the top but unfortunately that's all I have time for this week I can't get any more material now until tomorrow so tune in next week when I finish this off I go it onto here and I'll try and sort out the hinges as well because I'm not sure if I'm going to have piano hinges on the side or smaller brass hinges, uh, it depends. Probably the smaller brass hinges because it's a bit more discreet, but we'll see. So, anyway, stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, then get subscribed. Hit the notification button so you know when I upload. If you've got any comments, any questions, or anything, leave them down in the doobly doo. Give the video a big thumbs up and share it if you like it. It really helps out me and the channel and the video. Until then, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.